I'm gonna sing you a song. I wanna share a tale with you about the American dream. When all the railroads ran on time and our nation ran on steam. Behind the tracks and railroad ties, a hero took the man of connecting every town, and he was called the Railroad Man. Railroad Man! Railroad Man! Can you take me to San Fran? Can you take me down to Tennessee and across the Rio Grande? Can you take me up Mount Everest and into Disneyland? Can you get me there on time? Oh, can you do it? Railroad Man. Railroad Man. Uh, guys? Sorry, that song's just too dang catchy. Now you're probably wondering why they called him the Railroad Man. I think you explained it pretty well. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. They called him that because he built the railroads and was male. And they called him railroads because they were like roads except with rails. Cool. Uh, thanks for clarifying. His eyes, they say, were made of coal. His toes were railroad spikes. His trains had seven stars on Yelp and a billion Facebook likes. <gasps> That's right, a billion. What happened next? Shut up, kid. I'm the one singing. I wasn't He laid all of the track, you see, hooked up the USA. And he could have kept on going if not for that fateful day. These two weird fellas came to town and invented human flight. They called their ship an aeroplane and themselves Brothers Wright. Brothers Wright. They said, our planes can transfer man without the need for rail. Your industry is dying and your dream's going to fail. So pull up your slacks and pack your tracks and get on out of town. We don't need steam or steel beams to get ourselves around. Railroad man was none too pleased about that. He said, two rats don't make a right, and dang if that ain't wrong. Hey, that lyric ain't half bad, I hope it ends up in a song. If God intended man to fly, we'd be born in a flock. Those Rot Brothers and their flat machine can go and suck a cock. Those Rot Brothers can sniff my bib, they can give my ass a smell. They can lick my shaft from four to half, and their plane can burn in hell. <laughs> Excuse the language, folks, but that's what the railroad man said. His fucking words. The Rot Brothers, they challenged him, they said, You think you're great? Can your steam trains do a loop-de-loop -loop without losing the freight? If you do it, we'll leave town, and we won't ever come back. But if you fail, you can take your rail and shove it up your crack. No, oh, the hell with you, Rat Brothers. The sky's for birds, and the ground's for turds, and you sir are the lotto bird. Railroad man, can you rise to their demand? Can your trains do a loop-de-loop, -loop? can they do it all on land? Wilbur's talking smack about your track, Orville's railing on your rails. Can you kick their ass with steam and brass and eight inch steel nails, railroad man? Say, that was a pretty good transition. <laughs> anyway, the railroad man, he spent a month looping up his track. Then he gathered up the townsfolk and he told them to stand back. The train had started chugging and the loop de loop drew near. The train, it was America. It's frayed our hopes and fears. Everyone watched in silence. You could hear a needle drop. The train, it went straight up the loop and right on to the top. The railroad man was finished. He knew he'd had his run. The airplane beat him fair and square. And the railroad days were done. But before he died, he wrote a note for anyone that flies. He wrote it all in railroad so we could read it from the sky. So take a look there, down below, written in the land. You'll see the final dying words of the Railroad Man. Railroad Man. Railroad Man.